provision of facilities. Pakistan is spending merely a small ratio of its GDP on health and education. Health and education are the two most important fields where there has to be budget allocated for spending more in order to get rid of all these issues that are being faced by the population in Pakistan. However, it is unfortunate that Pakistan is spending a very small ratio on both health and education. The provision of facilities under these circumstances become negligible. There is a need to accord priority to health. It is very important for the government to take care of it and to see that education and health are priorities and there is a need to allocate a handsome amount of money to the budget that is related to health and education. The health of education of the new generations is very important and it should be a priority for the government to take care of it so that the new generation does not face the difficulty of being uh, uneducated or illiterate or be, fa be facing any sorts of health issues, diseases, illnesses. Because if the government will take care of making people aware of the health issues and will provide facilities to facilitate the people to understand the need of being very careful about their hygiene, then it will help the nation to develop into a healthy nation. School health program and provision of missing facilities in existing schools. So the government has to take care that there are school health programs introduced in school. So along with education, there will be the school health programs which will be helping the students and the teachers to take care of their health and becoming aware of what are the nutritional facts that they need to know about the food and how should be they taking care of their health and also their hygiene. Why would be it important for them to stay away from polluted areas and how can they keep their environment clean? So by both these uh, school health programs and the facilities provided to the schools, it will make it possible for people to take care of their health and at the same time get education and awareness about these matters. So simultaneously there will be the education program running with the school health program. So people are getting educated, people are getting the awareness and they understand the priority, the need of the time, what is important for them to become strong and healthy citizens of Pakistan and how to work a, with a level which is full of energy and power in order to make their projects successful. How will they be able to do that if they have the energy to do that, if they have the physical and emotional passion to do the jobs and that will be only created by having healthy physical bodies healthy mental states due to the facilities that are provided by the government and also the awareness through messages, through pamphlets, through leaflets given by the government and also by putting all this material as resource material for the schools and also making it a part of the school curriculum. Only then the government will be successful in imparting this information and knowledge to the students that how they should be taking care of their physical health and the mental health and how is it important and why is it important to follow all those principles which are leading them to good hygiene and keeping their environment clean so that they are not attacked by any germs and diseases which would not enable them to proceed further because if they become sick that means they will be having low energy levels and they will be having no interest in doing anything that is worthwhile doing as a nation. Therefore, the government needs to take care that they increase the budget in both these areas, that is the health and education, and make it the priority for the people and also to introduce such school health programs where not only the students but also the parents, they come to know 
about what are the measures taken in order to keep a healthy society.